You know? well, it's funny how movies work. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger was never supposed to be the Terminator. We were going to have a black Terminator. O.J. Simpson was originally cast to be Terminator. He was going to be the T-800. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, but the, but the studio feared that audiences wouldn't believe him as a killer. I swear to God. Dude, that is nuts, bro. That is nuts. Yo, man, that uh, damn, I wish that happened, bro. I mean, obviously, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger was perfect. Like, OJ was never going to do better than that. You know what I mean? I mean, this, I mean, we need somebody to do like, you know, this is some mad TV type shit. They needed to fucking know this information. They, they could have did a skit of OJ as Terminator and it would have been awesome. You know, him, the Terminator, like with the shit that he actually did, you know, it was like, whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> I remember, yeah. So yeah, Schwarzenegger, he came in. He was going to play Reese, but but then like he he convinced the director that Terminator should be a really big guy, like like Schwarzenegger. And and my favorite aspect of the story is why James Cameron wasn't interested in casting OJ as the Terminator. And I quote: "Frankly, I wasn't interested in an African American man chasing around a white girl with a knife. It just felt wrong." You, and yo, that nigga James Cameron is a real nigga. I will say that for sure. He's a real <laughs> nigga. I read I read some other shit too about like um oh, they, uh, why he he um had T1000 and dress up as a cop was, you know, that was like some, you know, I, I can't remember exactly the, the quote or whatever, but it's basically some same woke nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? I love white niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like that's like they just got like that thing in their mind that they're like so cool you know white guys that's like they're not really white you know what i mean he has that look yeah it's it's like how quentin tarantino can get away with writing the n-word in his script exactly over and over and over and over and over. it's like nobody yeah. want to hear this but he's a nigga you know what i'm saying like <laughs> You know what I mean? It's, yeah. He's not like if we had a party and he just like started talking and saying nigga like a little too much, we're going to be like, hey, man, hey, you need to cut that shit out. But if he's hanging with his one black homie and he says nigga because of some reference they talking about, he's good. You know what I mean? But now I think about like if there was a black Terminator, what would that have meant for black kids growing up? Forget Miles Morales. We have black Terminator. I mean, you know what? In rap. It was referenced a lot anyway, so I guess it would have made it even cooler because then, like, people would have did music videos like that. You know, you might have seen fucking Ice Cube dressed up like the Terminator in a music video. That would probably would have been a concept they put on one of his joints. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're always referencing it, and it's funny. Is you just made me think of too? Did you know that uh, uh, Beverly Hills Cop was originally supposed to be Sylvester Stallone? Oh my gosh, that would be a completely different movie. Yeah, and I, I guess they like went to uh, meet Eddie Murphy or saw him do stand up somewhere, and they was like, "Oh man, that's, he's dope. We should like, you know, see if he's interested in this." And of course, you know, story writes itself after that. But like, it, you know, they were, the girl was supposed to be his love interest, which ended up just being the home girl in the movie. It's like when you think on those things, you're like, "See, that's one that's like." Ah, uh, yeah, we. I'm. I'm cool that 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 one didn't happen. You know, that one didn't need to happen. We needed the Eddie one. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, it, it makes me think about uh in uh Last Action Hero when uh he goes into the movie store and they got a um poster in there or you know one of those cardboard cutouts and it's Sylvester Stallone as Terminator. I don't. I don't remember that. So basically, you know, Last Action Hero is an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, right? And basically the movie is about him being a character in a movie. And then this kid who is a big fan of him goes inside the screen in the movie. So now he's in the movie world, right? And he's trying to explain to the character that like, no, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're a famous actor. And he's like, what are you talking about? Like. He's an action star in this world, right? He's like a regular dude, but he's an action dude, right? And then they go, he's like, he's like, I'll prove it to you. Let's go to the, you know, to the video store. And they go to the video store and he's like, look, watch, let me show you this movie Terminator. And he sees a cutout and it's Sylvester Stallone. And he's like, he's like, oh, what the hell? What? And he's like, 
yeah, I love this movie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's pretty. Look that up. It's like it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty dope because you obviously you know Arnold Schwarzenegger and Stallone, they homies and shit with the uh, Planet Hollywood and all that. So that's like a little ill reference, you know. I'm I'm not surprised that you're well versed in Arnold Schwarzenegger because you you won 150 bucks in a high school comedy contest impersonating him. Oh yeah, and it wasn't. I want to say that wasn't even a um that wasn't even a big part. That probably was a little small part of the um the contest. Yeah, they gave me a big fake check too, like a gigantic check. You know, I don't even know. I can't remember if they actually gave me the 150 dollars or they just gave me that big fake blank check. 